Hi guys, it's Dahlia Strato with SEOMates.com and today we're going to be doing a tutorial about how to make your logo square. So if you have a rectangular logo, you probably already know that when you try to stick it into, um, for example, the profile picture for Facebook, it doesn't come out right. It's, uh, it gets cut off and it doesn't, it just doesn't look nice. So, um, we're going to teach you how to make a square version of your logo and that's going to be good for some other sites that you might want to set up like Twitter and things like that where they're also looking for a square image for your profile. So it's good to have both. It's good to have a rectangular and it's good to have a square one too depending on the site that you're, um, on the social media site that you're working on. So, um, here I'm at MemphisMades.com and I'm going to do a square version of their logo and here you can see their logo there how it is um, rectangular so if they try to put that on their Facebook profile as a perfect Facebook profile picture it's just not going to look very nice so I already saved it so I had right clicked and saved it and I saved it to my desktop and the next thing you're going to want to do um, is going to come to our blog post and of course there's a link to that in the description whether you're on YouTube watching the video or whether you're on our blog post and watching from there you're going to find the link uh, right here to this blog post and we're going to come here and find where it says Facebook profile image template so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save image as and of course I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that to my desktop because that's just really easy for me you can save it wherever you'd like okay and remember this blog post is called free templates to use for social media image creation and that's on our on our blog and the link, links right there at your fingertips so you should have any problems okay and now I'm gonna go to pickmonkey.com of course again that link is also in your uh, description as always so we're here at pickmonkey and I'm gonna click on edit an image and I'm clicking there and I'm gonna go ahead and select um, the profile image template okay and and I already know from the get-go that that's going to be the right size and that's going to be perfect for me okay so I am going to play around with the Memphis Means logo and here I am in PicMonkey uh, of course these are all your basic tools down the left hand side you guys have probably done this with me before so uh, we're going to come down to overlays which is the little butterfly here we're going to click on that and then I'm going to click on your own up at the top, so it's this button. And I'm going to drop in the Memphis Maze logo that I saved earlier. So I know it's this one, and you're going to drop in your logo, obviously. And basically what I'm going to try to do um, is recreate this logo you know what their logo is a PNG and that means it's transparent and it's also a um, a white font so it's going to be hard to see what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to basic edits and I want to change the canvas color and I'm thinking that I want to find a green like they have on their website now if you'd like you can use color picker um, which we talked about in another video and I'm gonna put the link to that too and color picker makes it very easy to pick uh, exactly like it sounds pick any color off of a website and copy it so I'm going to ooh, I'm all I'm going to click on the color that I want and this is my hex code hex is for six I'm going to copy that. I just selected that nice dark green that they have there. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come back to Pick Monkey. And see here where this where this code is right here, right by where it says canvas color. It's a six digit code. Should be six digit code. Six is for hex, remember. So I'm going to drop my code in there with control V and then I'm going to hit enter and it's going to make it that nice green just like their website okay so right now Memphis Maze is obviously not gonna want um, half of their logo cut off so this is what we're gonna do I'm going to recreate their logo in a square format so I'm thinking Memphis on one line, Maze on the other line and then maybe the little 
uh, fleur de lis here on a different line. So what I want to do is I want to erase part of this logo. And the way I can do that is by coming over here to where it says overlay and clicking on eraser. And that's going to give me a nice eraser. I can change the size of it, which I want to, just to make it a quicker, quicker deal. See how I just slid that over there? There we go. And I'm going to erase everything but the part that says Memphis. Okay? So now I've isolated Memphis, the word Memphis. All right? And now I can slide this up. And now I have Memphis really in the spotlight there. Okay? And now um, I can come back in here and I can do that again. I can drop in the Memphis Maze logo again. Um, and I'll show you there's two ways to do this. I can either just keep dropping it in and editing it. There we go. And I'm going to bring this out again. There's my my logo again. Or I can click here where it says Duplicate Overlay. So I right-clicked on it, and I'm going to duplicate it. Right? So now I have three Memphis Maids logos. Getting crazy. Okay. So I'm going to click on the second one. And remember, I already have Memphis by itself, right? So I'm going to move that one up. And then I'm going to say, okay, I want to get maids by itself. So I'm going to come back to eraser over here. And I'm going to erase everything that's that way. Okay? Great. I'm going to click on maids and I'm going to resize it. And I'm going to move it where I want it. Okay, and here I have this third overlay down here, with, which is the logo too, and it has that nice fleur de lis that I like. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to edit out part of that one too. And I'm going to go to Eraser. And I'm just going to erase everything but the fleur de lis. Okay. Now I can bring this this larger, which I think is what I want to do, um, and I can make it down on the corner here or wherever I want to put it. And you just basically, so I'm taking the three different parts of the logo. I split the logo basically into three parts, and now I'm just going to make it. I'm going to make it uh, work in a square area. So I can put this over here. I can put it on the bottom. Um, I can do whatever I want. I can even take this out. Let's say I take that out. And I can just make this larger. And I can make Memphis larger as well. So that's one way. That's the way to do it with an existing logo is just to take the logo apart and kind of reposition things until you get something that works with the square. So that right there, that looks pretty nice. And that would be just fine for a profile image for Memphis Maids. Um, but the other thing that I could do is I could just recreate it um, with a different font. I could even just make it the two M's large. Uh, you just basically want to keep keep the same idea, keep the same brand, keep the same colors, uh, but make it work for square. And uh, this is really easy. So then I'm just going to go to save. I'm going to pick the highest image quality, which is Sean, and then I'm going to save it to my computer. And now I can go to Facebook, or Memphis Maze can go to Facebook, and um, upload that as their profile picture. And it's going to fit perfectly. It's not going to get cut off. It's going to continue to represent their brand, and it's going to just be perfect. So I hope that was helpful, and definitely stay tuned for more tutorials from, from SEO Maids. And subscribe to our channel, uh, and we'll talk to you soon.